Wolf with this week's ViewCast. Right now, there are tens of thousands of American troops fighting in Iraq and Afghanistan. Vanderbilt scientists have created a high-tech helmet that one day might help troops during combat. Engineers at Vanderbilt's Institute for Software Integrated Systems, known as ISIS, have developed a handheld computer that can display the location of enemy shooters in three dimensions. It can also accurately identify the type of weapon the enemy is firing. The wireless sensor technology is found in the soldier's helmets. Now we're going to move down. He's going to actually move closer to the policeman and he's going to fire two more shots. We should see the uh, meatball move down to reflect the new window. And there we go. The system relies on sound waves produced when a gun is fired. The system is unique because, among other things, it can filter out echoes that throw off other acoustic detection devices. The system can also pick up multiple shooters at the same time. You can read the full story and see more of the military testing video on Vanderbilt Science website, vanderbilt.edu slash exploration. I'm not ashamed to say my love of proper writing and my appreciation of writing roles stem from many Saturdays spent watching Schoolhouse Rock. And that's an additive, like this and that. But that's sort of the opposite. Not this, but that. Peabody professor Steve Graham says the need for young people to be proficient writers is becoming more of an issue because students aren't getting enough writing practice or writing instruction. Graham says about two out of every three kids in the U.S. do not write well enough to meet grade level demands. Writing is not part of the national reform movement. Um, so where math and reading and science and technology are, I don't want to take anything away from them because they're all important. Writing has not been a major player in terms of the reform movement, so it's not getting emphasized in schools. When we take a look at what teachers say they do in terms of teaching writing, we see very little writing actually going on in schools and very little instruction orientated or devoted to writing time. Graham's newest research shows students need to be taught how to plan, revise, and set clear goals for their writing. They also need to write more often, whether they're being graded on it or not. You can see our full ViewCast interview with Graham on youtube.com slash Vanderbilt. What does a tornado warning, a 20 degree drop in temperature, and turning the lights out all have in common? That's exactly what happened one night in March when Vanderbilt, Nashville, and millions of people in cities around the world came together for one very special Earth Hour. The stormy weather and cold temperatures didn't dampen the spirits of the brave, energy-minded souls, including the African Drum Ensemble. Earth Hour is important just for people to realize that they can unplug and turn off their television, turn off their lights, and kind of just, just sit quietly for an hour. If 1,200 universities across the nation and as many cities across the world all turn their lights off for an hour, it actually will make a difference um, energy-wise. The World Wildlife Fund led the Earth Hour initiative to bring attention to our changing climate and the need for energy conservation. And energy conservation has really been an important theme on our campus this past year. And our community is really starting to see the importance of conserving energy and conserving natural resources and how that impacts climate change. We can see stars in Asheville, which is great. I can see a lot of stars right now, and it's awesome. You can see more on Earth Hour at earthhour.org. I give that idea four green Commodores. For ViewCast, I'm Amy Wolf.